question I have is what advice would you give your 18 year old self? I think I would tell myself that life is too short. We have to enjoy every moment of it. So work hard and play hard. My question to you was what lessons from the heart would you give? First of all, I'd like to say congratulations all of the Mainer students. You guys have done a great job and you're off to a great future ahead of you. Lessons from the heart, first and foremost, remember those who've always supported you and helped you and thank them. And second of all, always do what you want to do and do it the best you can. The premier lesson I would give is go the extra degree. At 211 degrees, water gets really, really hot. But at 212 degrees, water boils. And when water boils, it creates steam. And with steam, you can move a locomotive. So with that one extra degree of effort, you can move mountains. So the lesson of life is perseverance, sobre todo, y trabajo y uh, trabajar duro. Esas serían las las lecciones más valiosas que yo he tenido en mi vida. Y siempre hay que perseverar, aunque nos digan que no. Y siempre hay que trabajar duro para demostrar nuestras capacidades. What advice would you give your 18-year-old self? Uh, develop a passion for reading earlier in life. Don't wait. Don't wait until you're 25 or 30 to develop that passion. That's where you're going to get all the information for your, for your future. Today's a really exciting day for everybody and the dream shouldn't stop here. So keep dreaming big and do big. It's a great day to celebrate, but keep on dreaming. My advice I'd give my 18-year-old self that I still advice I live by today is to always try new things. You don't know what new skill sets you'll bring to it, what individuals you'll meet, new friends, and in addition, new experiences. Perfect. Thank you. I would tell a graduating scholar to not stress if you have no idea what career you want to go in. Follow your passions and know that in this day and age, it's kind of up to you to define a new career path and define a job. I had to do the same thing when I got out of college. I was interested in lots of things and created a new role. So don't be afraid. Think outside the box and just take, take advantage of all opportunities that come your way because you never know where it might lead. I would say not to forget your family when you leave home. You may not realize it, but they miss you a lot. So please stay in contact with them frequently, let them know what you're doing, and let them know that you care about them. Bueno, el consejo que yo daría a todos los estudiantes que están por graduarse es de no olvidarse de tener sueños, de siempre soñar y de siempre tratar de perseverar en, en lo que sea que uno haga. Eh, la otra cosa es dedicación a los estudios, dedicación al trabajo, dedicación a la familia. Eh, sigan adelante y, y como les dije, no dejen de soñar. Gracias. My lesson from the heart would be to move forward in your life with love, forgiveness, understanding, and humility. It will conquer all, whether you're an architect, policeman, young, old, sexual preference, it doesn't matter. Well, I think the three items that a student should take with them are um, a closed mouth, open ears, and a big heart. Uh, a closed ear, a closed mouth, be prepared to be silent and observe and learn and open ears, listen and, and take everything in that you can and in a big heart, do everything that you do, do it with passion. So those are the three items that I would take to college. Uh, I chose what life lesson would you give? Oh, there are so many, but I think the one that was most applicable to my life and growing up was knowing myself. I, it's not something I did for an extended period of time, but it changed my life when I had that epiphany and realized that it's something that was important to me and to my career and my happiness in life. And I'm not talking about, you know, like 
the things that you talk about with your friends or the things you see in life that you kind of are assimilating into. It's more about your entire body, your health, how you respond to stress, how you respond to programs and initiatives that, that really tug at the heartstrings and really drive you as a, with a passion. You know, what are those things and how can you use those to create a better life for yourself? How can you find relationships that work for you? How can you find a career path that works for you? Knowing all that information. And it's a lifelong discovery process, constantly asking why. Is this still what I believe? Is this still the way my body responds to certain things? And to just know that and be in touch with that on a regular basis will make life so much better. The advice I would give myself is make the best of the opportunity that you have in front of me, or you, me. Um, the two things though that I would encourage myself to do is be very good at time management. And the toughest thing is learn how to say no. These are some of the greatest times of your life. Make the best of it, but make sure to follow two simple rules. And that's all you need to do. Congratulations and best of luck. The topic I would give for the heart and the advice that I would give for a student is that, number one, I'd say be the hardest worker that you know. You don't always have to be the smartest person in the room, but be the hardest worker. I would also say operate with integrity. Honesty matters and your personal and professional life, all you have is your integrity and your work ethic. And then thirdly, I'd say commit to making sure that you realize that you're gonna have things that knock you down in life and be resilient and step back up. Use the times that life gives you trouble, knocks you down, or creates challenges for you to turn those around and generate energy to come out of the backside stronger and a, a healthier person professionally, uh, spiritually, and personally. What I would share with the scholars is always go beyond what you're asked. It is those who reach beyond their chair, work within a realm of their passion, and lift up those around them that move to positions of leadership. Often what you do at your own desk or with your own hands has the impact of getting the job done. But when you do things that make those around you perform better, be better, learn more, learn faster, you lift up a whole group of people. Sure. It for me, it was very simple. Um, speaking from experience, I would say congratulations. You've made it this far. You've made it through high school. That's awesome. Um, for me and for you, I hope, it just gets better. So try to keep that in mind as you're moving forward.